point to see now all refers to this verse in Genesis 49a and Jacob called his sons and said come together that I may call you what is to befall you in days to come. Now it is very interesting that the gematria of the verse befall you, occurred him just now, is the gematria of the year 7581, which is 5781 of the creation, which is 2021. In fact, this was, according to Hatam Sofer, the beginning of the era of Messiah. He brings this from a verse in Psalm, Meashpot Yarim Ebion. Meashpot from the refuse. Here is the Gematia. He cried him 781. And Tavshin Perle from 2021 also. So this is the beginning, according to Hatam Sofer, of the process of redemption. So all these tables we are going to see, a lot of tables, all really clearly show that this is like this. In Hebrew it is called Adchalta de Geula. So here really what you see also in black, the word Adchalta, the beginning of the Geula, of redemption. It's the beginning of redemption in red. And then comes the year 5781, which is exactly the time. Okay, it's written in Shuvah, repentance, definitely because repentance is necessary for redemption, yeah? So this is why you have the word redemption twice. Re repentance twice. Repentance, we have intellectual repentance with your mind, understanding what is wrong to transgress God's commandments and confession. So amazing, this is what you have. You have also in red here, you see parallel this year, 5783, and this is the beginning of the process in green, 5781. So amazing, this is very famous uh, for, uh, verse really, you find a lot in the zone, this at Hatta de Gula, the beginning of redemption. See, now we have another one, it's also very interesting. Also about the importance of this date, which is, as you see here in green, you have five, seven of this, and then you have Elijah here and Messiah. So in this table that you are going to see afterwards, yeah, we have again this date, and many other words definitely which have to do with this idea, and this is definitely to do with the Messiah and Names of Messiah, there are four names, so each name indicates to their function to comfort the Jews and to show the greatness of the Messiah to the whole world. But it's only as he written here, the verse said, keep the Sabbath, keep my commandments. And amazing, you see here, the redeemer of Israel in the past, like Esther, Mordechai, and Purim. Which is the same thing which is going to be now, because today we have Hamanai, and then we have Haman. So all really goes together. So we have your Esther a few times, and you have, in fact, amazingly, a question, who are the Messiahs? I mean, who are those names? That's Shiloh, Yunan, and Menachem. Those who have this important goal, destiny to run for Jews. Then you have here again, you see in red, the eight of Shin Pe Aleph in 5781. I'm unbelievable. Minimum is all Torah. Then you see here verses also, which speaks about redemption. God will remember the covenant we did with Jacob and with Isaac. This is what you see here in this. Also, the covenant with Abraham. God remember. Now it's amazing that you have here in black, you can see here, Yavo Mashiach, Messiah will come. On the year 5781. Now the question, when? Yeah, maybe he's there waiting, but you need the condition of Shuvah. You can see in green here, the Hebrew word, Shuvah, green. And in red, you have Torah, keeping the Torah, amazing. So it's really in black, Mashiach Yavo, Messiah will come. When in the year 5781, unbelievable, maybe he's here, but because there's no repentance, we have here condition of repentance, you have the Torah, that you have to keep the Torah, and also prayer, which you have here, and in, you have also, end of time, you have Daniel, because Daniel is this one who told us the end of time. 
So you have your Elijah will come a Messiah. Amazing. And then you have your also something interesting, the date of the code, which was 5,733. Then another table, which also in red, time of redemption. And in green, you have the Jubilee, because this is the year of Jubilee. If you remember, we mentioned many ideas. Now, if you look on the right side, in, in written in purple, me Tafshin Peale from, from 781. Unbelievable. And this is in red is time of redemption, as, as we said, from the year 571. Unbelievable. So this is also fits. Then you have another one, which all fits with the verse. We speak about this. And this is what we have, we have here. Also, the year of sabbatical, Messiah. And then we have also another interesting because here you can see so clearly in red time of redemption and parallel to it the time then again everything fits with the verse then when we go more into the tables there are more tables about all of them clearly show that from the year 5781 which is 221 we saw it we have in red on top of the son of Joseph and Jubilee. We are not the Jubilee. According to Rabbi Yudah, we explain exactly what it means. You have the word Messiah twice. You have in blue Messiah, you have down the Messiah in red because the Messiah son of Joseph. In fact, in red on the right side, you can see Ben Poat Yosef, the son of Joseph. And then you have in, in yellow Liao and verses which says, Shmo Mishpati, keep my laws, my Torah, my commandments, and then you will have redemption. And here in Isa, the same thing, is all the time, you know, as I said, you can see clearly. Then you have another table, which is also 7-8-1-20-21. And in this one, as you will see now, you will see the date, as we saw before, that Messiah will come on this year, if you do Shuvah. So here we have, amazing, here you have all the names of Messiah, like Menachem, you can see in yellow on top. You have in red, in black, Ben Ishai, on the same name, Ben Ishai. Then you have also the Pakod Yifkod, in red, God surely will redeem you. And in red, on the left side, every five letters, repentance, because this condition, this is really about the time when Jews came out from Egypt in the Red Sea. So they did repentance, but Shuba. So I mean, looking on all these tables, yeah, the names of the Messiah comes here. And all those tables are basically in the center. This date, Tavshin Pe Aleph, 781, which is exactly the time which uh, is indicated in this verse that we saw, yeah, the verse which says that uh, Jacob told his children, come together, we tell you the time of Messiah. But we know God did not tell him. So everybody says, we did not tell him, but you mentioned it. So he said, because the indication, Gimata and so on, when it's here. So maybe very much, this is a date. But we saw 781, which is the Gimate of Yikarayotchem. So here we have the Ashuvah, as we said, repentance, minimal in the Torah, in the story, when Jews were about to enter the Red Sea, and Pharaoh came near, and they did Shuvah. Or we tell the Torah says that they lifted up their eyes to heaven, they did Shuvah. So the same situation like we have now, you know, 100 sons of missiles around. Here we have Esther, because the story, what you are going to have, like in Esther, as we said. So it means all these tables, as I mentioned you, the main idea of these tables, okay, it is in Hebrew, but the main idea is telling us that by repenting, by doing Shiva, by keeping the Torah, especially the Shabbos, he will have Messiah, and... What we should do is repentance and Shuvah. This is why almost in every table you have the word Teshuvah, repentance. Here you have the Shuvah in red, every five letters, many million in the old Torah. And here telling also, we have Amanai in black. This is what you have today, Aman of today. And again, Messiah. 
So interesting and important, significant tables, which tell us that we are in very, very significant time. Now, process of Messiah started on 571, and went through the sabbatical, and now we have the, after the sabbatical, so by keeping the mitzvot, you have, this is what you have here. God will remember you, Pakod Yivkoi Elohim Adchem. You will see the salvation of God. All those verses telling us, right, about redemption, about condition is Ateshuva, the repentance. The minimum is also one. You have the repentance. So let us hope that this will be, we'll keep the Torah, we'll do Tshuva, and then, only then, we'll have Messiah coming with Eliza and Moses. We have it down, you can see Moshe Elia, both of the Moses and Eliza will come together. And then we'll, oh, we'll have really, real, as the Torah says, peace, quiet, tranquility, happiness, and joy in Israel, in the old world.